obviously on the Android side of things, there's alternative app stores like F Droid um, that you mentioned. Um, there's um, some new. What, before there's, we, a, there's a new app. Let's let's get yeah. this straight. What's the difference between F Droid and getting your apps from F Droid, and why is that mm -hmm. not a band aid solution compared to getting apps from Aurora? I really want to get this like down so people understand. Right, um, F Droid is it's a F Droid's an open source client that kind of. Uh, connects you directly to a developer's repo. So a, a developer can publish their apps directly from like infrastructure that they control um, and then it's available in F-Droid. So um, there's various ways that F-Droid apps are published. Um, there's a, like a default repo that uh, developers can submit their apps to, um, which functions similarly to the Play Store. Um, and then there's um, an option to add your own custom repositories of apps where like the developer could run, the developer could control like the entire distribution process on their end. So what you're saying right? is like, you know, let's even tie this to like deplatforming, which I know is kind of a, an annoying term, but like, let's say someone has an app that's been taken off the Google Play Store and they can't, even F-Droid doesn't want to list it. What you're saying is they can host their very own website, their very own repository that any person can add into F-Droid and download the app from there. And so the developer still has a way of pushing out their apps independently of any platforms. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. And then the other thing is that unlike the Play Store, uh, of course, F-Droid is open source. Um, and so there's there's no like... Um, business incentives that like Google might have to um, keeping people out of the Play Store with like third party clients like Aurora. There's no there's no incentives and there's no reason for F-Droid to make any changes like that, prohibit third party F-Droid clients, for example. And even if they did, um, because it's a community run project, they can, the community can easily like revert those changes or fork the project and start like <laughs> uh, a more sane one, but like there's, there's really, unlike, unlike with all these big tech companies, which are like very um, VC funded um, and like have been basically burning investment dollars for decades <laughs> is what we've been seeing. Um, and now that they, now they have to find a way to return a profit on that money um, after it doesn't have any of those problems. And a lot of open source apps like after it don't have any of those problems. Right, there's no profit incentive. Um, right. Sorry, I, I interrupt, I wanted to like really I wanted to really outline the difference so people who've never used Asteroid or Aurora could, or Aurora could understand crystal clear why these are different tools.